The world of astronomy has been thrown into extraordinary turmoil after what may be the most groundbreaking revelation ever recorded, credible signs of advanced extraterrestrial intelligence. Several independent teams of astronomers, each using various observatories worldwide, have confirmed an artificial radio emission coming from Proxima Centauri b, the nearest exoplanet to Earth. The signal, pinpointed at 982.02 MHz with remarkable accuracy, features structured modulations and mathematical patterns that defy explanation through any known natural origin. Reports indicate that NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory has initiated emergency measures, with top scientists working non-stop to authenticate the discovery before issuing a formal statement. Meanwhile, the United Nations Office of Outer Space Affairs has called an urgent assembly to evaluate the potential impact, and key global leaders are being briefed on the possible geopolitical consequences of initial alien contact. Online platforms are already overrun with rumors and theories, despite efforts by the scientific community to manage the release of sensitive information. If validated, this finding will forever change our perception of life's uniqueness and force humanity to rethink long-standing assumptions about our solitude in the cosmos. Nicknamed the Proxima Beacon by scientists, the signal was first intercepted by the Parkes Observatory in Australia under the Breakthrough Listen Initiative and later confirmed by observatories in Chile and China. What makes this signal so exceptional is its precise consistency, remaining within a frequency range of under 1 hertz during multiple recorded intervals, something no natural space source is known to achieve. Its signal strength fluctuates in a way that mathematicians believe may point to a sequence of prime numbers, long speculated to be a possible universal format for alien communication. Governments around the world have restricted parts of the research while racing to coordinate a global response. Tech giants have shifted artificial intelligence efforts toward analyzing the signal, with preliminary findings suggesting complex layers of data hidden in its structure. Spiritual leaders from different traditions are preparing responses, while scientific circles remain split between hopeful anticipation and deep skepticism. Public responses swung between awe and alarm, with some financial markets experiencing turbulence as long-term ramifications of alien contact begin to be factored in. The SETI Institute has initiated a permanent observation cycle and has determined the signal repeats every 11.2 Earth days, likely in alignment with Proxima B's orbital timing. Cutting-edge observatories outfitted with advanced quantum sensors were the first to detect the unusual signal during regular observations of stars near our solar neighborhood. From the outset, the transmission's details caught scientists' attention. Its carrier frequency possesses a level of clarity and constancy that surpasses anything humanity has engineered to date, with drift values indicating an oscillator likely based on atomic or quantum level precision. Analysis of the spectrum also revealed harmonics that follow sequences resembling the Fibonacci pattern, prompting researchers in mathematics and physics to investigate whether the signal contains embedded messages. The nature of its polarization suggests the use of circular polarization, a method commonly employed in satellite systems to preserve clarity over long distances. Perhaps most compelling is the signal's directional focus. Calculations imply it's being deliberately aimed at Earth with striking precision, suggesting whoever sent it knows where we are. This detection has led to immediate enhancements of SETI's detection network, with multiple nations accelerating investment in specialized telescopes aimed directly at Proxima Centauri. Commercial spaceflight companies have also begun reworking mission plans, with some already suggesting specialized probes to directly investigate the signal's origin. At the same time, researchers across the globe are struggling to comprehend the deeper significance of what seems to be a purposeful message sent from the closest planetary system to Earth. In the world of astrophysics, narrowband signals are widely seen as a signature of advanced civilizations. Natural cosmic processes tend to emit broadband radiation due to random thermodynamic activity and chaotic energy output. By contrast, artificial transmissions focus energy into tight frequency ranges to optimize communication. The signal from Proxima has a spectral line width of just 0.8 Hz, resulting in a quality factor exceeding 1.2 billion. This is even more stable than the best atomic clocks created on Earth. Such incredible precision likely involves advanced technologies, possibly including quantum-based oscillators or light-driven frequency systems that remain theoretical for humans. Even more intriguing is how the signal strength fluctuates. It seems to follow a mathematical formula, with early assessments pointing to the transmission of Pi's first 100 digits converted to base 8. 
This could be a deliberate mathematical introduction meant to establish common ground. The pattern of the transmission also reveals purpose. There are carefully timed pauses, which might be part of a structured message system or gaps created for potential responses. Experts find the choice of frequency, 982 MHz, to be particularly deliberate. It falls within a quiet zone in space where background radiation is low and interference is rare. Notably, this frequency travels through the interstellar medium with minimal loss, suggesting the sender understands space physics on an advanced level. The signal's consistency across astronomical distances hints at technologies that can correct for the Doppler shifts caused by stellar movement, an area still under theoretical exploration in our own science. Altogether, these attributes form what leading scientists are now calling the strongest case yet for intelligent life beyond Earth. The discovery of the Proxima signal was only possible because of recent advances in space observation. It relied on a new breed of telescopes powered by superconducting quantum interference devices, or squids, which are kept at ultra-cold temperatures just above absolute zero. These ultra-sensitive receivers operate near the quantum noise floor, allowing detection of extremely faint signals. They are combined with massive phase array systems capable of directing radio beams across the cosmos with extreme precision using adaptive optics that adjust in real time. The signal interpretation system is powered by neuromorphic processes, specialized chips modeled after the human brain, running deep learning models trained on millions of artificially generated signal patterns. This setup enables a real-time identification of unusual activity buried within the vast flow of data. For signal stability analysis, the team turned to optical frequency cones, a technique originating in quantum precision labs, which allowed them to measure variations down to one part in a quadrillion. To eliminate the possibility of the signal coming from Oath-based sources, scientists applied very long baseline interferometry, VLBI, linking telescope arrays across five continents. This global network successfully pinpointed to the origin of the signal within just 10 arc seconds of Proxima Centauri, delivering a nearly exact positional log. The verification didn't stop there. Cross-checks were performed using a newly operational radio telescope station on the moon's far side, an area naturally shielded from Earth's electromagnetic noise. This silent environment offered an uncontaminated reading of the signal. Meanwhile, instruments aboard the James Webb Space Telescope conducted parallel observations, and its high-resolution spectrograph dismissed the idea that the signal could be linked to stellar activity. This layered strategy, combining Earth-based orbital and lunar observatories along with high-end processing tools marks the most intricate and thorough attempt to detect intelligent life beyond Earth. The infrastructure created for this research is already paying dividends, accelerating breakthroughs in quantum systems and long-range communication that are expected to enhance other scientific missions in the near future. A worldwide alliance of scientists has come together to decode the Proxima message, forming task forces to examine different components of the transmission. The lead group has pinpointed what looks like a message preface, repeating elements that might act as mathematical cues or guide to interpreting the content that follows. Initial decoding efforts indicate the senders may be employing a highly complex encoding technique. It appears to mix frequency shifts, phase changes, and polarization manipulation, enabling vast amounts of information to be transmitted compactly. Some members of the research team believe the data could be visual in nature, beginning with basic geometric figures and scaling up to advanced 3D models. These forms might represent molecules, atomic blueprints, or constants that define physical laws, all meant to build a foundation for mutual understanding. The timing of the signal itself reveals some astonishing links to fundamental physics. The interval between each data packet is precisely 137 to a second, a number remarkably close to the fine structure constant, which plays a key role in governing electromagnetic forces. This has sparked intense excitement across disciplines, drawing in not only physicists but also linguists and code breakers who are now using decryption strategies inspired by ancient undeciphered texts. Their goal, to locate repeating elements that might resemble a symbolic or logical language. Physicists, Meanwhile, are zeroing in on an additional layer of complexity. A second modulation pattern within the signal seems to correspond with the hydrogen atom's energy transitions, a universally understood standard in physics. The most thrilling theory so far suggests the transmission could be a step-by-step -step guide, starting with fundamental mathematical ideas and building gradually toward more advanced information. 
It might even include design blueprints or self-interpreting data structures. Still, scientists are urging caution. Even if we can recognize these elements, decoding their actual meaning depends on understanding how the senders perceive reality. Their sensory world and conceptual framework could differ so drastically from ours that interpretation might be impossible without shared reference points. Experts believe the full translation process could take many years or even decades, with each breakthrough likely dependent on continued observation and new theoretical insights. Proxima B, a new cosmic focal point. Since the moment a signal was traced back to Proxima Centauri B, this once modest exoplanet had become the most closely examined world outside our solar system. Roughly outsized and orbiting its red dwarf star every 11.2 days, the planet lies squarely in its star's habitable zone and is now believed to be the signal's likely source. Revised atmospheric models now suggest that, Despite being tidally locked with one hemisphere in constant daylight and the other in perpetual darkness, its climate could be moderated by circulating air currents. This would create a stable twilight belt capable of maintaining livable temperatures. New findings from the extremely large telescope hint at traces of both methane and oxygen in the atmosphere appearing that on Earth typically points to life. With gravity estimated at 1.1 times Earth's and a likely abundance of liquid water, conditions could theoretically support organisms similar to those on our planet. But considering the advanced nature of the signal, scientists point out the enormous challenges any civilization on Proxima B would have had to overcome. Its star frequently emits powerful flares and intense radiation, making technological development difficult on the surface. This has led some experts to propose an alternative scenario. The beings who sent the signal may not be native to Proxima B at all. Instead, the planet might serve as a relay point in a much larger interstellar network. Its proximity to Earth could make it a strategically chosen location. Others have gone further, speculating that artificial megastructures, possibly a Dyson Swarm, may exist in orbit, harvesting stellar energy to power the transmission. The leading theory is that the signal originates from a large object in stable orbit, potentially a communication hub built for long-range contact. Future observations using gravitational microlensing could help determine whether any such structures are present. Meanwhile, upcoming space telescopes will attempt to first direct imaging of Proxima B as surface. Whatever the result, the planet has instantly gone from being an intriguing celestial body to one of the most important worlds ever discovered. How this changes everything for humanity. Even as scientific verification continues, the effects of this discovery are already visible in human society. The realization, or even the strong possibility, that we are not alone has caused massive waves of reflection, uncertainty, and awe. Philosophers and cultural historians are warning that humanity is psychologically unready. Every major belief system and social framework has evolved under the assumption that Earth is unique in hosting intelligent life. Now that assumption is unraveling. Initial opinion studies reveal a deep divide. While many people express excitement, others are gripped by existential fear, uncertain how to process our sudden shift in cosmic relevance. The ripple effects extend to economics as well, with rapid increases in funding for fields like exobiology and extraterrestrial communication, often at the expense of traditional research areas. Defense strategists are sounding alarms about the possibility of alien technology being weaponized. Some governments are already proposing global agreements to manage any future contact scenarios responsibly. Meanwhile, religious organizations are entering a period of internal debate. Some see this as a confirmation of faith, while others are reassessing long-standing doctrines.